The weather's gotten a bit stormy, but we are here at this beach that Ricky doesn't know the name of. We got dad over there. In one pocket, I have all of my white stones and my jade. And in this hand, I have all these beautiful orangey white kind of crystals. If you hold them up to the light, they're almost see through. That one's one of my favorites. I kind of think it looks like a strawberry. And then you have these beautiful rainbow ones. And the ones that you think are jade. If you go down on this beach, the whole beach is covered in lots of white rainbow rocks. How are you doing, Daddy-o? I'm ready for the rain. Where are we going? We're going to the gorge. And this is Ricky's rain attire. He just stole Dad's hat. You got it's a raining? carrot. You got a oh, carrot on your face. <laughs> so we only made it to the bathrooms. It's, it's pretty fucking cold and it's like pouring. Ah. So we made it from the bathroom to here. And we just realized that we well, we're trying to go is like 15 minutes away. I don't think that's going to happen right now. Okay, so maybe we're just going to try and run to there. I don't even know what we're trying to look at. The phone is seeing what I am seeing. It is pressed to my forehead under the brim of my hat, which is pouring Here he is. Here he is. There's a Ricky. Woohoo. Oh, ow. There's a Ricky. Crazy. Only when we want to be out in this storm. Here's us. Hi, we're fine. <laughs> really, it's a lovely day. Everything's great. Look at this rain. Look how pretty it is, though. Prettiest thing out here, though, is definitely you. <laughs> what? I know your pants are <laughs> a little bit wet. And here's some uh, some facts about birds and shit while you're here. Here comes the boy. <laughs> you look like you're wearing a dress. Was it worth it? Wow, look at that butt. Look at them cheeks. I think we're done on this adventure. How are you doing, Dad? Was it worth it? It was fantastic. Was it everything you ever wanted? And wetter. And wetter than we ever wanted. <laughs> okay, back to the van. This is majestic as fuck. We were on the road over there and we saw this rope swing. We couldn't figure out how we get to it, but now that we're here, I see that this little runs up the tree. Okay, Mr. Carmen. Woo! Oh, no! Right to the face! I'm gonna try not land on his face this time. We shall see. No! <laughs> <laughs> this whole place is like magical. Someone built like a little platform there for jumping in. There's a lower rope swing. There's all these like little ladders and docks everywhere. It seems like whatever kids live in this neighborhood have this whole tree decked out as like their favorite summer spot. Look, there's another ladder going up there. Well, I'm sitting here in the car right now. Look at how cute they are. Where we just arrived to the key? We just arrived. We're at our place. Okay, so we probably still have like 30 minutes left in this line. And we're given a menu. And that's the whole line for the burger. But Ricky Dicky has told me that this is the best pie in all of New Zealand, so we need to eat it. Ricky has noticed that on the menu you can get deer burgers, there are lamb burgers, there is squid. What? Oh, we get to be a part of the history forever. I understand now. So I don't know what magic they put in this, but this is the best burger I've ever had. Now that I'm outside waiting for Dad and Ricky, I realize they've expanded in both directions. That is Ferg's Bar. That is Ferg's Bakery. And they also have Ferg's Gelato. So they basically have like four or five buildings all in a row. In a freezer. Oh, they're carving new furniture. I love these little trims. So the fish hooks are for protection over water and a good harvest. These ones are the traditional tool that are meant to bring prosperity, I think, and like determination. These ones are to be in touch with your ancestors and a good fertility charm. These ones are about relationships and the intertwining of ferns and the people that love us. So while we're looking at all this jewelry, I found a carving of you, Ricky. He's built like you. Thank you. Look at these buttons. We got the same buns going. The only thing is the price tags here are crazy. So this lizard carving, $5,000. Let's pick something smaller. This nice little stone, basically $400. 
<laughs> 360 battleground, which means this is the VR place. You're gonna strap goggles on your head, you're gonna see things you've never seen before. So out of all the options from mini golf and race car driving and outdoor escape room, which is a big hike outside with an iPad. So that's gonna be no for right now. I really wanna do this one. We have to run around. Dad is not convinced. We're gonna convince him. Thing me jiggies we're gonna be in. They got fans, we got the VR goggles. Oh, super slippery. Okay, good to know, good to know. We got our fancy VR shoes that are like, Super slippery. Look at his little face. He looks like a praying mantis. We have arrived at the tree, and the only problem is that it is before sunrise. Rather, that is the sunrise, and we've already been here for about 30 minutes. And there are so many people here with tripods taking long exposure shots, which means I cannot get in the water next to the tree to take the picture I want, because I don't want to be a dick. I'm wearing like three jackets. I got the dress underneath. Fucking cold, and I'm still willing to get that water to try and get this shot. Three, two, one. So this is Ricky's first look at what he's gonna be jumping off of. Oh goodness. We're jumping off of that thing into the canyon. How are you feeling about it? Good, good. How are you feeling about it? How, watching you do it. Glad it's not me. <laughs> Bungees go by weight, that means Ricky gets to go before me. I have to go last, which is sad because I want to go first, and they get to go right before me. They're gonna do great. It's their first time. Dad's gonna watch because the police actually gonna make it onto the gondola thing. Dad's gonna love it in our empty How are you guys feeling about this? A little more scared. Yeah. Hey, Daddy, you should look down. Nothing. You should definitely look down. That's why you're here. You should. <laughs> Yeah. We've made it to the Cool Kids Club in here. I think you're about to have the best moment of your life. Let's do this well. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Very happy. Yeah, it seems a little hesitant about this whole situation. <laughs> here he is representing the Wild Child brand for his very first bungee jump. So now that we are done, we can see all the recording. I mean, we're gonna buy it anyways. Oh, look, I'm so happy. Look at that good form. Ricky, see? Beautiful. This is the rhythm of the Because Ricky can't even hit the fucking board. <laughs> oh! Oh! This is a historic moment. Dad's first ever green stone. Oh! This is for Julia. And now we're all going to be part of Jimmy Sears. Oh, very nice, very nice. What's the tradition here about buying yourself gifts? Can't do that. Can't do it. I mean, some gifts, but not. Not the necklaces. So the green stone apparently has to be bought by someone else for giving good luck. So Daisy bought dad's and dad is buying mine and I am doing nothing. But I'm recording everything and I will make a nice video for everyone. So oh and he's getting earrings for my sister. We are in the pie shop with our pies. Historic moment. Hello. Oh, yeah. It's on my nose. <laughs> Where is it good help? Hezbollah? 
<laughs> Good morning. Are you our new neighbor? Finish our raisin bran, I guess. morning we are at Lenart Castle. We don't know a lot about this place. We saw it on a map and now we are here and apparently there are native gardens and the guy was some Australian gold miner who came here and built this castle and then had three wives and then killed himself in parliament and then it was abandoned and then it was refound and that is all we know so far but as we go through this magical place I will tell you guys more about it. So I know I'm saying this in probably every single video but I'm in multiple jackets and pockets and I'm already wishing that I was wearing two pairs of pants. It's fucking cold. Okay, this is summer. The locals have said though that this is a colder summer than usual for New Zealand. Ricky, do you remember it being this cold when you lived here? I didn't live in the South Island. I lived in the North. Okay, he never lived here. He doesn't know. We are seeing the castle for the very first time. This is actually quite magical. Do you know what the castle? No, this is my first castle. Wow, this is Julia's first castle. Look at that! Look at how huge these gardens are. Some of these plants are native. Some of them have been brought in because they're rare and unique, but this whole garden is cultivated and we have little signs and we can go around and learn about all of the plants, which is really cool. Can you try and describe it? It smells fresh. It smells fresh. I don't even know what that means. Almost like lavender, but like very light. I have like basically no sense of smell, so I'm the wrong person to tell you guys, but apparently these purple puffball looking things have an interesting smell. I don't know, but they're very pretty. As we walk through the garden, there are little numbered posts that match up with the guidebook that dad has that tells us all about when each plant was planted and what type of species it is and how rare it is. They have all these beautiful ecosystems laid out that have unique birds and insects. And I like how wild it is. Like you kind of got to push through trees to get ooh, where you're going. Found daddy up there. I'm going that way. Does it bounce? Oh, it's very firm. Oh goodness. We're not allowed to walk down this, but perfectly lines up to the front of the castle. I feel like we have walked into a time of dinosaurs. What's your favorite plant so far? The little tiny, like Pittosporum, that's ground cover. A little tiny, and it's, oh my God. <laughs> Those right there are pretty great. These ferns. Okay, we got some eggplants. Yeah, it's just a self-guided Okay. Tour. We are starting the tour in the downstairs. Everything here was hand carved. Ricky looks at me as if I'm the one to set off the alarm because normally it would be me, but that time it actually wasn't me. Is this where the, the naughty children go? No, this is the dinner. Well, so this is some information about the castle. It was purchased by this family in 1967. They have video clips here of the first ball that everyone attended after the castle was bought and refurbished. And then they just have some other stuff here about how they started working with the tourism board and how it's a historical site and everything that they did to refurbish the place. This chart about the castle is talking about the fact that during its construction, they bought in wood carvers from London and they had stonemasons from Scotland and Italians for the plaster work and all of the glass was imported from France had to be brought in by sailboat and then brought up the hill by oxes and carts. 
So I just did like 40 minutes of reading and I will see if I can accurately condense this down for you guys. The guy who built this castle did many things like politics and farming and importing of goods and ended up shooting himself and killing himself in front of parliament at one point. And then later on, multiple years later, after he'd already been through, three wives who also all died, one from blood poisoning, one because she did a bunch of cocaine, I think, and locked herself in a room, although they said it politely. And the other one died of a blood infection after having a surgery. Three wives died, he shoots himself. And then his son, who was running the property, also shot himself because multiple problems were happening with the family and they lost a bunch of money. But also there were rumors that he was having an affair with his stepmother because his dad, before he killed himself, had married his wife's sister when she died. So the, the wife died and married the sister. That lady died and I guess the son had been having an affair. It's very confusing. This family clearly had a lot of drama. So in this room, we have some very old china, a very old piano, some very old leather chairs, and some very, very dead birds where taxidermy was still a questionable practice because their eyes look hella crazy. Like, I don't know a lot about taxidermy, but that bird looks hella startled. I do see the tubes. What do they do? Well, they used to release methane gas for these lights and the lights in the room. And the methane came from horse manure on the property. And there was also one toilet hooked up. And all that methane rose up into a glass bubble sort of thing. And then it got pumped by a hand pump into <laughs> the rest of the house. And then they would basically burn farts to make these very romantic fart candles. I mean, it's kind of ingenious. It makes you self-sufficient. It's a lot of manure needed to power all the chandeliers in here. Hi, world. It's inception. Look at all the detail, the woodwork. There's like butterflies, 3D carved into the ceiling. Oh my God. In all of these restored rooms with a very fancy furniture, they have a very specific way of telling us not to sit on the chairs. Huge spiky pine cones. Also, I know everyone is beautiful, but imagine if this was a portrait that you had made so your family and ancestors could remember you. And you kind of looked like a turnip. Literally everywhere you look in this castle, there's so much detail. Every single wooden piece here was hand carved. There's little intricate notches on all of the doorways. There's even flowers carved into every single door. These are tiny, individually carved pieces of abalone shell that are inlaid this table. This is perhaps the first room that doesn't feel slightly haunted. I mean, the family's done a wonderful job restoring, but just like, it's bright and cheery and has like pink furniture and almost looks like you could just sit down here for dinner. Um, the rest of it definitely feels more like a museum. And now we're going up. Oh, spirally. I feel like this mirror is placed kind of high, but here I am in one of the upstairs bedrooms. This place is quite bright and cheery. It has a beautiful view out of this window of the front. That's the garden where we were earlier down through that tree tunnel. Over here, you can see the flower gardens where we were out there. So we're now in one of the ladies' rooms where you can see all of the, the hand beading detail on some of the clothing pieces. And they also have this bride, which looks really kind of dead and scary, but maybe I'm just making stuff up. Maybe these are not creepy at all, but what is that? <laughs> Why is there a ghost lady hanging from the ceiling? This is one luxury copper toilet and a very, very thick marble sink with a tiny lion head. I'm back in this room. Apparently this bed is made out of the Cody wood, that big tree that should have been in an earlier video if you were watching everything. Almost an extinct tree, it's protected wood. I'm gonna put coals from the fire in here and then slide it in between the sheets to warm up the bed. But wouldn't that like catch your bed on fire? That's why it's in copper. So Oof. This is the first room I've been into where the sign says that restoration of this room is a future project when funds allow. And what they mean by that is that there are some pretty big cracks running up the sides of these castle walls, like all the way up in the corners. It's like the whole wall is trying to separate and the floor kind of sinks down in the middle. So you can definitely tell that there's a lot of money constantly going into like fixing and repairing and trying to keep this whole place together in a way that the general public can enjoy. This room is quite bright. This is the first room where I feel like I could actually live because it's full of plants and wood. <gasps> we have succulents. Look at this baby. Oh, so beautiful. This is the last bathroom upstairs. This bathtub is a solid piece of marble. Imagine trying to move this thing like up the stairs. Ricky, how much is that way? 20 pounds. 20 pounds. That thing is dense. And two things. I wonder why there's two sinks. Wait, there's no toilet. Wait, how does that work? Yeah, wait. you're gonna fill it up like a basin. Oh, oh. I guess. Yeah, you're not gonna yeah. wash your hands under that. Ricky was just educating me that this is the flag and he could use it to communicate to his ships. Somewhere out here to tell him when it was time to come in. The view of the 
gardens and the stables from up here. Okay, it's time for my catchphrase, which is that it's too damn cold. Come on. Back inside through the tiny door. I don't know if you can see like how, how small these stairs are. Can we, can we tell how little this place is? That, like if my hand is on the wall, this is where the center of this is. The whole way down. Let's see if I level with the door frame, the whole floor is actually like pretty slanted that way. Actually, the top of the door frame is crooked too. It kind of makes me feel like the whole house is like sinking in. I don't know if that was an intentional design or over time it's all just kind of sloping that way. This whole place kind of feels like a maze. We just came from up that way. Now we're going down here. I don't know where they went. That's not creepy at all. Perfectly normal. What are those? Sewing blocks. We are now in the gift shop and I think we found my favorite thing so far, which is those. We are outside again. The flower garden, there are many different sections. There's a rainforest garden, there's like a traditional garden. I love how many different textures and types and they have all these layouts where no matter what season it is, things will be flowering. And it's so beautiful, like what is that? I'm seeing so many things I've never even seen before. Some of these plants don't exist anywhere else on earth. This plant doesn't even look real. Flowers and the stalk and the leaves are all the exact same color of purple. Oh my God, these big, beautiful red things, lilac daisy bushes. Some tiger lilies with some bumblebees. We got a Ricky. He's adorable. He's just smelling everything. These are black-eyed Susans. That is a huge thistle plant. That thing's bigger than me. My dad was pointing it out. I thought he was joking, but there are like weird random Alice in Wonderland like statues. Like that's the Cheshire cat. On the other lawn, there was like a statue of Alice dancing with an animal. All of us were getting a little bit hungry. So now we're going to the ballroom cafe, which I thought the ballroom and the cafe were two separate things, but apparently they are not. That is a very large elk. Oh my God. Imagine that thing coming at you. Imagine this thing coming at you. Like there's, there's one over there and there's one here. This is probably one of the biggest elves I've ever seen in my life. We all got our butter pies. Here in our lunch. Did they say what this building was? Oh, they put little castle turrets on their poop collection. So this is where the Vicky's live. Not exactly sure how they would capture the methane in here and then pump it up to the, the house to light their first ever methane lit chandeliers. We have finally arrived back at our van. We've apparently spent the entire day at the castle because it is now 4.30 p.m. Our entire day was wandering gardens. Ricky, what was your favorite part? The gardens. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dad, what was your favorite part? There was a lamb's ear plant that I really loved. Fuzzy one? Yeah. Yeah, some of the flowers are very inspiring for me to make our Bali garden. Uh, do we have plans now? Do we know where we're going? In next week's video, we visit Elephant Rocks, explore the botanical gardens, play at the animal park, shoot at castle rocks, hike a waterfall, climb a ropes course, and Ricky attempts to bodyboard down a rock slide.